Hey guys, I'm gonna walk you through my entire startup process here so you can see what goes into getting my stream up and running before, uh, before I actually hit the go live button. Let me show you the entire process here. All right, so there I am, hi. What we wanna do is we'll take a look down there. So I have my stream decks, of course. What I have here, let me turn off all that light so you can see what we're actually doing. So I have a bunch of pre, a whole bunch of procedures and whatnot, pre-show setups and an entire checklist I have to go through. So we're gonna do the pre-show setup right now. And we have to go through this entire check. So air conditioner drain, that's been done because it drains into a bucket. Turn the diffuser on. All right, there's my diffuser. Boop. I checked it, it's got liquid in it. So we're good. Diffuser on, because I want that woodsy smell. I got fur oil in there right now. So it smells like a forest. All right, next up, Jeff light. All right, that's this light here. And bam, done. All right, we got it. We got that light. Maple syrup, make sure it's full. Well, there's enough there. It is, okay, good. We got that. Now, start RTP MIDI. Now, this is the program that I use to communicate between my two computers. So we're gonna go fire that up. Fire it up first on my stream PC, there we go. Now we'll switch over to my game PC. Let's log in. Fire up RTP MIDI. There we go. Got it there. Now we can see that they are connected. Why is that not focusing? There we go. Crash Coke Stream PC connected. Good, we're, we're good. So we got them connected. All right, so that is that one done. RTP MIDI done. Let's uh, let's check that off the list. Open Bone. Now this is the translator here. This is what actually works with the, uh, the MIDI right there. This is what gets it all going. All right, good. So we got that. Let's open up Boom on the game PC. And this takes the MIDI signal that I send and translates it into actions on my PC. So we have uh, general settings, cheer control, all that stuff. All right, that's operational. Let's double check it's operational. Let's uh, let's fire off the bone presets here. Presets are good. We're gonna do a test here. So this sends something to my stream PC, which is then translated by my game PC and MIDI translator working. Nice, okay, we got that. Second row, next up, open up NDI. All right, so that is for my robotic camera that's right there. So let's take a look at that. There we go, hi, how are you guys? So now it's connected. We are ready to, uh, we're ready to open up OBS now that NDI is properly connected with this camera. Let's switch back to the stream PC. Close that, now we can open up OBS. OBS opening and lint roller. Okay, let's uh, let's take the lint roller here. Let's take the lint roller. Make sure we're focused. There we go. Oh come on! Oh come on! So it looks like I didn't push the button properly. Boop! There we go. Now one thing I want to show you. Now that OBS is opening. You can see right there, there we go. GPU starting to take off, VRAM shooting up. VRAM usage as OBS is loading, we're shooting up and this is just on it loading right now. So I still got a ways to go. Come on, I'm still getting used to this gimbal. Pretty cool though, it's a really cool setup. All right, lint roller. God, I made a mess of that. Of course, roll my shirt, get all the cat hair off, freaking everywhere. And then I also take the lint roller to my mouse pad. Get any other dust particles and cat hair and just stuff like that off of there. Cause you guys get to look at everything. Plus it's a hump day help stream where I'm gonna actually be showing a lot of stuff going on here. So I want this to look a little bit better. Okay, so with that lint roller is done. Now we check the audio balance. What I'm looking for here is I wanna make sure that uh, on there, when the left channel plays, it plays in the lower bar, right channel plays, it plays in the upper bar there. So we're going to activate sound. Let's kill the mic right now though. There we go. So I'm gonna activate a sound. I'm gonna activate a sound and then I'm gonna change the balance on here and we're gonna see how that works. So let's go here.
So now it's supposed to be in the right one, correct. Now it's in the left one, correct. There we go, audio balance is correct. Cause sometimes with the drivers, it gets a little bit funky chicken. So that was checking the audio balance here. Right speaker, left speaker, we're good. All right, good. Now that we have that sorted, we're gonna do, make sure the scene collection is correct. So right here, we have it so that we're, uh, the profile is 1080 NVNC, scene collection is the correct one. All right, we can check that off the list. Next up, check the cameras. This is the one that everyone should do at the start of every single stream. All right, so we're going to check the cameras. First thing we're gonna do is a C922 camera. Boop. Okay, there it is lined up there. You just saw the autofocus flicker, so I'm gonna go here, properties, configure the video. Now I wanna make sure all my, all my lights are on, so it's gonna have a little bit of reflection there. But here we go, all right, so white balance. We're gonna put that up to where it should be for my show. I know that the lights in my studio are 5,000 Kelvin, so that is what the white balance is set for, 5,000. Camera control, focus. I wanna manually focus this. Exposure, we wanna leave it on manual exposure. Let's focus this, because I want this area right here to be in focus, but this to be kinda out of focus a little bit. The other thing I wanna do is I, I moved my camera a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I wanna make sure I get the gain bar in the back taken care of and the Electro Voice uh, wireless receiver there as well. There, that, that's looking good. Camera's looking good. Always check your cameras at the start of every single show. I'm happy with how that's looking. The focus is good. This area right here is in focus. That's slightly blurred. I'm happy. All right, next up. Uh, rear webcam, all right. Let's adjust that one. Rear webcam, make sure it's working properly. There we go, rear web webcam is working. Cam complete zoom test. So cam complete, that's my main cam. Now you can see that it's slightly overexposed, but it also changes when I zoom in. So watch this, if I do my zoom test, there we go. So I have an outline of exactly where I need this camera to be for everything to line up properly. So let's adjust this zoom. And I wanna fill in the green with my face. Mm, I can zoom in a little bit more. That's because this camera doesn't automatically zoom to that previous uh, settings. That's pretty good. All right, next up, side cam. Make sure it's working. There we go, side cam's working. So, that's that part done. Check cameras, complete. Next up, let's set our stream title. All right. So, let me adjust this camera, level it a little bit. There we go. All right, let's open up Firefox. Dashboard, yay! Edit stream info. Okay, so, hump day help stream. Now we wanna mention that people can type review to learn how to add, add in, uh, add into the queue and whatnot. Helping you, uh, hump day help stream. Let's actually do this, hump day help stream. Free uh, free channel reviews. There we go. Exclamation mark review. Hump day help stream. Helping you with all your stream gear and settings. So this is the notification that's going out. So we're gonna make this talk shows and podcasts. And we're going to change that there, it's gonna be educational, it's gonna be coaching, it's gonna be AMA. What's the other one I always do? I think those are the main ones I do for the Hump Day Upstream. I don't know how much the tags actually do, but it's something there, like I always say, guys, anything that might give you a little bit of an edge, use it. If it gives me a little bit of an edge, great. Uh, next up. Okay, so we got the stream title done. We can close this window now. Boop. Now let's head over here. So we can now open Streamlabs uh, chatbot. Let's do that so you see a little bit better. All right, open Streamlabs chatbot. Boop. Enable the default alerts. Done. Open all supporting apps. So this is a multi-action that opens up 
all of my apps, switches me to the scene that I want right there. So you can see that Lumia stream is opening up. Discord's opening up. We got Snip opened up. We got Chatty up there. Come on. There we go. We got Chatty up there. Spotify, Discord, all that fun jazz. That's all opening up. So this window was just for Snip to play song titles. So people can request that. All right. Close. Lumia stream is up and running. Snaz is running up there. Beauty. Streamlabs chatbot running over here. And then we have Discord, everything else ready to go. Next thing we have to do. Next thing we have to do is Cruise Control Reload. So Cruise Control is the bot that I use to communicate channel points to uh, um, my main bot. So what we're gonna do, Cruise Control Reload is a Twitch action, chat message that sends to Cruise Control, reloads it. <laughs> and of course, right now it looks like, boop. Well, there's one of the bugs that we come across now and then. Looks like I have to log into Twitch again with my account. Let's try it now. Cruise control again. Let's see if this will work. I hope it works. I hope it works instead of the triangle. There we go. Now it works. You can see that it sent KC reload to chat. And that means that it's been reset, been reloaded, reinitialized. Good. Daily secret. Now this is what I do once in a while. I will have a, uh, a secret command that uh, if people read the title, they can earn bonus Sammy's. Didn't do that today. All right, so we're gonna skip that. Mod chat, I need to open up mod chat. Go. Oh, here I am bumping the camera around for you guys because why not, right? Open up mod chat, boom. Stream chat is open. So we got that. Verify the logins. Okay, so I need to verify the logins and OB check sure to make sure OBS remote is working and set pedals. These are all Streamlabs actions. Streamlabs chatbot action. So let's do this. And of course, this has moved. So to get that window to align, we're going to Windows key left. There we go. Discord goes there. There we go. All right. So now what I do is I need to verify my login, make sure I am completely logged in with Streamlabs chatbot. Otherwise, most of the stuff's not going to work. All right. So Crash Roy, Crash Coke. Uh, that's good. Streamer is good. OBS remote, that's connected. So I can uh, I can check those things off the list. Verify login, OBS remote. Now with the hump day help stream, I don't use my foot pedals at all. So we're gonna go here, hotkeys. Let's see if we have some applied. We do from the last game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clear these out. Hit apply. And there we go. So foot pedals, done. Boop. Next up, fix Lumia Twitch. You see how right there I have that purple border right there? I hit that button and it reloads that browser source. There we go. So it's all flicked in. It's good. We're happy. Now the reset button. This is the magic one. There's about uh, 150 things that this button does. Some of it multi-action. A lot of it actually goes through Streamlabs chatbot. So let's push this button. We'll see everything that happens right here. Reset button. Bam. So reset, perk off. It's gone ahead and it's uh, reset all of my VIPs. It's cleared my text files for everything there. It's brought up my audio settings so I can confirm that everything's on the right channel. So we need to check here. Uh, music is uh, set to 85 device ID two. Bam, good. Uh, so this is what it's supposed to be and this is what it is. Right here, device ID three should be 99, good. Device ID four should be 75, uh, good. Device ID seven should be 44 and device ID nine should be 100. All right, this computer's good. Let's check this one. There's only one setting on this computer. It's nice and easy here. All right, device ID two should be 50, done. Okay, that's nice and easy. Let's get this out of the way, get it off the screen. That doesn't have a minimize button, so that's the fun part. So now that we've got the audio settings all set up, we hit the audio fix button that allows Streamlabs chatbot, see everything that's done there, it allows Streamlabs Chatbot to reset all those audio settings using my custom auto hotkey script. So bam, hit that, audio, audio levels restored. All right, we're ready to move on to the next thing, which is open the game. Now, since we're doing a hump day help stream, we're not actually doing a game right now. 
So we're going to instead have something that shows up on the title screen, on the loading soon screen, Google Drive, crash, uh, promo and events, regular events, hump day help stream, V2, and generic manner, no time. We're going to open with just photos. And bam, there it is on the screen. So in OBS, that's what it shows. All right, we're good there. Now, we're, uh, we're close to starting. Open game done. Next up, set Spotify. Okay, let's set what we're gonna listen to for Spotify today. Switch back to the stream PC. Okay, what are we gonna listen to? Now, I don't want something that's going to overpower me. It's a talking show, right? I don't want something that's going to overpower me. So what are we gonna go with? Let's go with something. Let's go, uh, ba -ba -ba. retro wave. Here we go, retro wave, Re retro wave. I can't English right now, outrun. We'll play it. Let's get the volume set properly here. Oh, it looks like I have a login issue. The audio devices have changed here since the last time I did this. So it's not playing right now. So another thing to fix. Yay for fixing stuff, right? Right. All right. Let's, let's fix this stuff. Let's fix it. So what we need to do now, we need to keep Spotify open, open sound settings, sound control panel. No, 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 no. We want to go advanced sound options down here at the bottom. That way we can define which app actually uses which output device. So Spotify, we want Spotify to use, we're going to go default for now and then we're going to go back to 5.6. Let's try this. That's not working. So we got to close Spotify again. Reopen Spotify. There we go. Now we can see Spotify is on 5.6. So I have to allow a little bit of time to fix stuff like this. So what that did is you saw it was 5.6. So that's mixer 5.6 there. That's music. Okay, what do I want to start with? I want to have a strong start coming into the Hump Day Help Stream. I want to have a strong start coming into the Hump Day Help Stream here. So let's, uh, let's skip some songs here. I think this one's actually good. There we go, that one's good. Could have just gone with that in the first place. There we go, so that's a strong start coming in from my loud intro. I don't want something that's super quiet coming in from my intro because it's a loud intro. All right, so we got that done. Next, set Spotify complete. Check all the volumes, all right. So now we need to check this. So we're gonna check my microphone volumes. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, that's good. So the microphone is good. We have the volume set for there. We're gonna turn the volume off for my desktop or for my game PC, which is gonna be my review PC for now. We have music on. This is turned off for now, but we know that the audio works right there. So that's all fine and dandy. Microphone is good right there. Other thing I wanna do is I wanna position my microphone properly right here so that I, I have a very specific look. You see this, uh, this bracket up top? I like that hidden. So I want that over like that. Microphone sitting like that. There we go. That's where I want my microphone sitting for this show. All right, check volumes. Done. Now, we set the hue left. Now, I don't have that. It's on my phone right now. Hue left is that light right there. I do have accent lights. I will change the color of that after I'm done recording, but I have that on as a permanent accent light. All these other lights, the orange ones right there, the one behind the PC, that one back there, those are all controlled by you guys in chat. So. We're gonna, we're gonna get that one later, Hugh left. All right, so pre-show is done. On to the stream start button. So which microphone is my main microphone right now? Well, that is going to be my RE20. So I push that and what it'll do, yeah, is it'll set mic RE20. And what that does is whenever anyone types exclamation mark mic, it reads from a file RE20 and gives the information about this specific microphone. All right, that's done. Now, pixie poops, I have to set the proper pixie poops. Now for the Hump Day Help Stream, there are ex extra pixie poop commands. So let's open up Firefox. Still learning to use this gimbal. It is so cool though. Firefox, we're gonna open up my channel and we're gonna do, we're gonna deal with the pixie poops right here. Ah, if I don't screw everything up. Okay, so we're gonna go into my chat. Boop. Close well, that. Let's go manage rewards. Pixie Poops, and we're gonna turn on the ones for this show. So we're gonna have channel review Twitch, 
mixer, and YouTube right here. Let's turn these on. We do not have the crash command during this show, this show. So that's turning off, so they can't activate it. We also don't want them filling the crash vial, wasting their uh, pixie poops filling the crash vial. So we're gonna turn these ones off. There we go. So, pixie poops, set. Now what we do is we double check the resolution and the bit rate. Before we do that though, let's, uh, let's just activate this. There we go. Now we're gonna take settings. We're gonna go output. We're gonna make sure everything's good. 8,000 is good. Uh, output resolution, video, 1920 by 1080, good. All right, we're good. That's what I like to run with right here. We're saving to VOBS, double check all of my settings, always check them. Now guys, lots of you wanna go into the advanced settings, honestly, unless you're doing some advanced recordings with multi-track and whatnot, you generally won't need this. You're you're generally gonna be okay. So most of you will be fine with simple. I mean, I prefer simple, it just, it keeps things simple, less things to screw up, honestly. All right, so that's done. Resolution, bitrate, taken care of. Now, we're gonna do a page setup. What that does is it opens my Twitch page it's a multi-action that opens my uh, my channel page on Firefox. It runs the unhost command and it just gets everything ready so I can check for transcoding. So let's push this page setup. So it opened up my channel and it used the unhost command. Now from here, I wanna be able to check transcoding. So we're gonna open up chat. We'll move this over here on this side and we'll flip back and forth. So what I'm gonna do now, the pretty much the final step, I'm happy with everything. I'm gonna test transcoding. Now what this does is it starts the stream, uh, just simply starts the stream and the recording, nothing special, and, and it switches to a transcoding scene right there. What this allows me to do then is make sure that I get transcoding for you guys so you can have quality options. So let's do that, test transcoding. So we got the testing transcoding scene. You can see in a second or so, there we go. That's going over there. Now the way to check transcoding is I, as soon as it starts playing, I'm gonna hit this gear and see if I have quality options. I don't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cycle the transcoding. What this does is now kills the stream, kill the stream and it waits 60 seconds and then reinitializes it. And usually three or four times is, Usually it happens once or twice, and uh, worst case, three or four times most of the time, but once in a while, we just won't get the transcoding because we're an affiliate. So what we do at that point is if I don't get the transcoding, so we'll watch over here. If I don't get transcoding, I'll drop my bitrate down just so more people can watch. Okay, we gotta wait a few seconds here. There we go, starting up again, back over here. So as soon as we get signal again, we're gonna click that settings gear. There we go, now we have quality options. So we're good. Now we're gonna switch over to the starting soon scene. There we go. And because of all the assets, you can see there was a massive spike right there of, of frames, like two seconds of frames that weren't loaded properly. Okay, so we're good with that. Now we have that up and running. Now we start SNAZ, which is our countdown timer. So that is that program right there. What I wanna do is I wanna make sure I have that set to 15 minutes. I don't, so we're gonna set that to 15. There we go. And we click SNAZ, which is that hotkey. There we go, start SNAZ. What that should do is right there, give my countdown timer. Now, Twitter change. This changes my uh, Twitter name to, it puts a live in front of it with red dot, boop. Now we're gonna head over, we're gonna reset these stats here. Now that everything's loaded in, we're gonna reset these stats so I can keep an eye on everything because you guys should always be keeping an eye on your stats. Stats, your frames missed, your skip frames, so that's your, usually your GPU, that's usually your CPU, and that's usually your internet. It can be a combination of different things. I do have a uh, troubleshooting flow chart if you wind up with issues and you don't know exactly what's going on. You need this open to figure out what's going on. There we go, the first people are coming in now. 
activating the first command and they have their custom greeting there as well. Excellent. Now, reset stats is done. Now we have to do the live tweet. All right, let's 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 do the live tweet, shall we? Let's do the live tweet. And we gotta make sure that sounds off on there. Twitter, all right. So Windows key period brings up that. We're gonna go red dot live now with the hump. Normally I do video tweets, but obviously we have the phone right now running. And we got this already coming in. Sweet. Thank you so much, guys. So it's a little bit of chaos when I'm starting up the show. Live now with the Hump Day Help Stream. Helping you dial in your stream settings. Twitch.tv slash crash code. Now I, I generally avoid hashtags on Twitter. I find that they don't really help me a ton. But what I what does help are videos and images. So Google Drive, Crash Coke, promo on events, regular events, uh, Hump Day Help Stream, V2, generic banner. There we go. So images generally help me. Let's tweet that out. There it is. We're going to copy that link. Copy the link to tweet. And we're going to open up Streamlabs chatbot. Because right now, we just finished the action. Yeah, there we go. Do live tweet. Okay, live tweet's done. Now we gotta tweet the link. All right. So we type. Question mark tweet. Put in the link to the tweet. And then that's the tweet. If we get that tweet to 32 retweets during the show, everybody gets bonus Sammys in chat. So that's done. Now, tweet link is done. So that leaves playing an ad for 90 seconds to help uh, combat pre-rolls. I play them right now um, so that it, it just helps later on. Okay, so we're gonna play a 90 second ad. Coffee or water, make sure we have that. The shot glass for the maple syrup is there. And finally, make sure we have socks on because it gets cold in the studio with air conditioning blasting on your feet. Bam, there we go. And we can go to the starting soon screen. And we're good. We are ready to go. Now I just do any final little things that I need to do. I can push the buttons here to interact with it as well. Let's hit flame. And that's it. And that, guys, is my process for setting up my show. I hope I'm in frame right now. I don't know if I am. But that's my process for setting up my show. So you can see there's a lot of setup to it. But uh, hopefully you guys, uh, this has helped you, giving you some inspiration on how to how to set up your show. Uh, that checklist on the stream deck is extremely helpful uh, for me as well. All that is is a key, is a, uh, a hotkey toggle, and I set the hotkey to alt or control or something like that. Something that won't really do anything on its own. And, uh, and then I just toggle it as a switch uh, on and off, and that's all there is to it. But that's it. Thanks guys, you are absolutely amazing. I gotta go do the show right now, so uh, if you'll excuse me, uh, I'll talk to you again very soon. Thanks for watching, and always remember the key to happiness is